grace them. If you want to go over like at seven, the grace. Are you feeling it yet? Hop on. Are you feeling it? The music, the thing, you feeling it? Is it like tingle in your body? Welcome back to part two of the Memphis series. We're in Graceland, everybody. We've made it, everybody. Elvis, 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 and more. Elvis. Here we are in the Ticket Pavilion. Here's a map of all of Graceland. We are about to grab our iPads and head over on the bus to the Graceland Mansion. How excited are you to go back into Elvis's house? For the third time. Very excited. Are you going to sneak up to his bedroom? Yeah. No. Why? What, what about his bedroom? You have to let them know. I'd love to, but... No, no. What about the bedroom? They don't know about it. Oh, well, you can't go up there. Why? Because Lisa Marie said no. No one's allowed to go up there because that was his safe haven and no one's allowed up there out of respect. Who's Elvis. been up there? Lisa Marie, her Priscilla, and um, Lisa's Nick husband, Nicholas Cage. Cage yes. Actually, they did film a movie up there shortly after Elvis had passed, so his bedroom is in that movie. Our shuttle has arrived. And here we are at the Graceland Mansion. In front, there's these two lions. Elvis actually saw these lions while driving on the road and offered the guy some money for them, so they're at his house now. When you walk into Elvis's house, you see his living room and his music room. This is where he spent majority of his time entertaining his guests and his family. This is the foyer with the iconic staircase and the chandelier. Tucked away in the back right corner is Minnie May's old room. You walk out from the corner and through the foyer and you have the dining room. Dinner was normally served between 9 and 10 p.m. at night and Elvis would sit at the head of the table so he could see the TV that was located in the living room. Now we're walking into the kitchen. Fun fact, all the appliances in this kitchen are still fully functional to this day. This is Elvis's monkey room. As you could probably tell, he was obsessed with TVs and just liked to hang out in this area, along with his pool table room with custom draped ceilings. The pool room that you guys just saw is my favorite room out of the whole house, but this jungle room comes close second. With the carpet on the floor and the ceilings, helps with the acoustic sound, and Elvis was able to record a full record in this room right here. And there was a waterfall. Vernon saved absolutely everything of Elvis's. Vernon's office was used for housing a lot of the fan mail as well as press conferences. The room on the upper left floor is Lisa Marie's old room with the signature hamburger bed. And then we have Elvis's pool, kidney shaped with the diving board that you see in a lot of home videos. Elvis loved racquetball so much, he built his own court, and it was actually the last activity that he did before his passing. So back here, this greenhouse, is Elvis Presley's dad's house. And why did his dad not live with him? He did live with him for a while, but he got remarried, and when he got remarried, Elvis didn't like that, and Vernon's wife was starting to remodel 
sell the house and when Elvis came home he said oh no 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 and he said so he bought them a house and made them a dog and literally in the backyard that is his dad's house they still own it and I think they're starting the remodeling process now they don't own it Also on Graceland property, they have horses. These horses are ones that have been neglected. They're trying to take care of them, get them healthy. They are rescue horses. Oh, are you going to cry? Yeah, it's sad. You're not going to go see Lisa Marie first? In this area here is the meditation garden where Gladys, Vernon, Elvis, Minnie Mae, and Elvis's brother Jesse are all buried. Along the back side of the meditation garden, Lisa Marie and her son are buried. This is Elvis's jet plane, whatever you want to call it. It is huge. The Lisa Marie. We're about to show you the inside. How was the tour of the house? What did you think? That's pretty sick. Um, made the movie feel like more real. I mean, it, it is real, but like the movie is the exact replica of yeah, what his actual it house really, looked it like. Made it makes sense, I guess. Yeah. So everything that you guys have seen so far in the vlog. His house, everything like that is completely original. How it was left is how it looks now. Um, nothing has been changed. It's pretty amazing. Liv, are you going into your jet? Yeah. <laughs> MTV, welcome to my crib. This is the smaller plane that he used to go see the bigger plane being made. his cars.
So all this stuff that you guys are seeing that we're showing you is all of his original stuff. Everything in here they have kept, they have preserved. It's been on his body. These shoes are his shoes. These outfits, these costumes are his costumes. Everything that you see was his. No replicas. One of his costumes was $6,000 back then. 1974, $6,000. This one, oh my gosh, $9,000. Imagine that, today's pricing, how much that would be. This is my favorite part of the whole entire tour. Elvis recorded over 700 songs. Out of those 700 songs, he only received three Grammys, none of which were from rock and roll. All three Grammys were from his gospel records. $4,000 if anybody wants to buy these. That one's $4,000. Um, $2,300. That's kind of just ugly. <laughs> and then we have $2,500 for the red the stallion. Oh, the belt. And if Can't forget you want to buy a diamond tour belt or the 25th anniversary belt, we have them for you here. Very expensive. Welcome to Sun Studios, where Elvis recorded his first record. He actually was just joking around when he was in here, and the secretary liked what he was doing, so she kept pushing him and pushing him, finally signed him. His first song was, what was his first song? That's all right, Mama. That's all right, Mama, yeah. It goes like a little bit like this. Ready? One, two, one, two, three. I don't know. That's all right, Mama. Mm. That's all... Yeah, maybe not. But that's how it went. Mm -hmm. 